Hi there, this is Mike, and I'm going to share with you a quick tip on how I process double track guitars in Logic Pro X. Logic Pro has a neat feature called track stacking, and it's a great way to distribute uh, plugin effects across multiple tracks without having to add plugins to each individual track. So in this video, the, I'll go through both options that you can choose for track stacking and the one that I use during my mixing sessions. So to get started, I have my left and my right guitar tracks, and I want to add plugins to process both of them the same way without having to add plugins to each individual track. Now it's really simple to do it. You just right click on your selected tracks, go to create track stack, and you're offered two options up here. I usually choose the summing stack, but I'll show you what the folder stack does. After you create it, it compacts them into sort of one group folder. If you click the drop down arrow, you can see the left and the right channels. Now the reason why I don't use this in my mixing sessions is that when you click on the group, it doesn't actually create an aux channel and it doesn't provide you with the option to add plugins or really do any effects processing. You really only have control over the volume. Now I've already gone through and created the summing stack and that's right here. It looks very similar to the folder stack except that you have the option to add your plugins and to do panning, to send the signal to another aux track. It just provides you a great way of um, applying all these effects to multiple tracks at the same time. So it's a really simple but effective feature that helps keep your DAW organized. So that's pretty much it. And until next time, this is Mike, and thanks for watching.